Hello YouTube, glad to be back. Sorry we've uh, missed a week. We had the opportunity to, uh, to go with family and take a uh, spring break trip and so we did so, but we are really excited to be back and to share some more information about the business, uh, what, what we're doing, and uh, just kind of build upon some of the previous videos that we've done. One of the big things is we've wanted to become a resource, but we've also wanted to, uh, to walk you along on saying that anybody can really create this business. We've been blessed to be able to, uh, to start this and really want to share some of the steps along the way. Uh, part of this is actually going to be peeling back some of the layers and uh, walking you through some of this. Anybody can do it, but it's kind of like eating an elephant. You have to do it one bite at a time. There's just lots of small steps, and really none of them are that intimidating. They just take some knowledge, some research, and uh, sometimes just a little bit of some, uh, some hard work to be able to make those things happen. And so, Two things that we're going to talk about in this video is going to be one, LLC and creating a limited liability corporation. And the number two is going to be the social media aspect of that. And so I've got Bria, who is my uh, my wife, my better side that I've got here today. You've had a chance to uh, meet my sister Allison in a previous video. And so we're just going to kind of talk about each one of the four of us that are involved in this company have some some skills that really felt like we bring to it we do better than others and so we each kind of stay kind of in our own little area and uh, work through those things and Bria handles our social media with that but I want to start talking about the LLC side of it first before we get into that as we go through it the steps are actually pretty easy you can find all kinds of things online you can go to legal zone they've got some, uh, some paperwork and they can walk you through it there's also a website called nolo.com we actually, the way um, that we did it goes through Oklahoma. We're obviously in the state of Oklahoma. Um, I've not taken the opportunity to research all 50 states, but we used a website called llcuniversity.com. Made it really easy. They have lessons that you go through that break down each and every step. They have things you can click on as you walk way through if you've got a question on what the wording means. And so they break down the legal jargon for you, make it really, really easy. Each state, actually, you would register for the LLC through your Secretary of State. So for us, Oklahoma Secretary of State is where we registered for our LLC. But really, really, really easy. I can't even tell you. It took maybe 30 minutes to get everything done. So it, it was a pretty smooth process uh, going through it. So I'm going to go through a few of those steps before I turn it over to Bria and let her talk about the social media side. Like I said, we went through LLC University. Great resource. I can't speak highly enough of them uh, for that. Uh, the price, everybody's first question, how much it cost? Is it expensive? It was only $100 to create the LLC. And you can either pay that $100 through by mail or online. We chose the online side of it. Now, there is an expedited side, which cost you $125, $25 more than what you regularly pay. It was really easy on the online side. I think it took maybe a day or two to get it back and maybe a couple weeks to actually get the certificate that actually confirms that you've got the LLC, but, but pretty, pretty easy uh, to get done. To get started on that, so you go to the Secretary of State website. There's two things you're going to, uh, to start with for it. The first one, you're gonna have your articles of organization. You really don't have to turn that in anywhere. They just ask that you have those. When we created our checking account, we had to have those articles of organization at that time but you don't have to submit those for the LLC. They just ask that you've already got that taken care of. But the second thing is you're gonna to wanna to search to make sure no one has your LLC name. That would be pretty embarrassing to pay the money, go through all the work and not have your name because someone else already took it from you. So they have a search site on there. You can research, make sure everything comes clear. That took seconds to type in. Texas Tulsa Connection LLC came back clear and so we went ahead and move forward with the process at that time. And so pretty straightforward. After that, there's really two things that you're going to have to deal with. Uh, after it, it's gonna be your registered agent, and the next one's gonna be your terms of existence. And so the registered agent, there are four options. Three of the four, pretty straightforward with it. You can be your own LLC and represent uh, it as the registered agent. You can have your company itself, the LLC itself, be the registered agent, which is what we chose. Uh, number three, you can have a friend uh, be your registered agent. Now your friend has to live in the state, so for us they would have to live in the state of Oklahoma, but you can have a friend be your official registered agent. The fourth one's kind of the only odd one, the anomaly, 
and that you can actually hire a commercial uh, uh, registered agent. Essentially, they want to know who to get a hold of, who's going to kind of be that person uh, in case they need to make contact. And so it's really easy. We put ourselves down as the uh, registered agent. No big deal. The second part of that was the terms of existence. Now, I, in my thought process, most of these would be the exact same way. You would have an open-ended, basically a perpetual uh, ending to your terms of existence, which means you would be in existence until you choose otherwise. So you filed a, a delusional or a delusion agreement with the state to, uh, to break it up, um, or disillusion, sorry, disillusion there, get the right term uh, for that. So it would um, move forward at that point in time. There would be, I guess there could be certain things in which you know your business is only going to be uh, in effect for a certain amount of time. But short of that, we have an open-ended one on ours, and so it would be in existence until we uh, we file uh, to end that agreement. So pretty straightforward. A few weeks after that, paid the hundred dollars, got the certificate in the mail. Really, really easy. Um, I've talked to people who think it's a, a big deal to get it done, and it is not. It is so simple. I would do it uh, many times over. It's one of the easier things that we did to get it started. But for legal reasons, you really need to have it protection for you in case for us something goes wrong with the product um, there, there could be some uh, legal standing you got to or some legal problems you can run into that really protects you as individuals um, and, and gives you a little peace of mind there as you go through it. so strongly encourage you if you're starting a business please do that I, I can't encourage you to do that enough really really important uh, with it the second thing we told you we we're going to talk about was going to be uh, the social media. Probably the biggest part of this video is the social media side. And so I'm not really a social media savvy person, but one of the things we did when we uh, all four of us sat down to create this company was one to become a true resource. When we all uh, had kids, uh, my sister and brother in law, they have two kids. We obviously have one. Is that there's all those things that you're, there is no true handbook for how you're going to, uh, to raise a family. Uh, all these different resources. We live in an awesome time, an awesome age in which there's tons of stuff out there, but you gotta go search for it. We wanna be that spot which you could just come to one central location and uh, really find that. And uh, really we're gonna start tweaking our website as we move on into uh, becoming that resource. But social media was where we really started from it. Um, Bria, she's got tons of skills, what she does in her profession and so She's an awesome resource. If you have questions in this, put them in the comments section. I think she'd be glad to answer those for Sorry. you. So uh, I'm going to kind of turn over to her, let her talk through that, and uh, show you what she's been able to do with it. So, Bri. Hello. Good afternoon. As Adam mentioned, I handle the social media for Texas Tulsa Connection. Um, so you might ask, why does a company need a digital footprint? Well, in my opinion, any successful company must have a digital presence. We are in a digital age. We're always on our computer, always on our phones. We want instant information, instant news, always on Facebook. I was just sure. checking our Facebook account just before this video. So it's always on us. So um, before you actually decide what channels you want to use for social media, you need to sit down and map out what you want your digital footprint to look like. What are you wanting your company um, to be viewed as? Are you wanting them to be viewed as a resource? Or are you just trying to sell your product, drive people to a website? What, what are you wanting that to look like? So we sat down and as Adam mentioned, we, we decided we would like it not only to sell our product, but to be a resource. We're not trying to shove our product down people's throats, yeah. but we are wanting to be a one-stop shop, so to speak, of helpful hints on sleeping or, you know, any, anything you can yeah. think of in the parenting process. All those things you wish you knew. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So we, we wanted our social media to, um, to go that direction. Um, so we have a few social media accounts. We have a Facebook account. We have an Instagram account. Most recently our YouTube channel, yeah. which Adam will discuss in a future video and you're watching us now. And we appreciate that. Um, and then obviously our website, which Allison will talk about um, in a future video as well. So um, let's first go over our Facebook process. Um, the first step, obviously, check one, Facebook account. Create your Facebook account. Now, on that account, include your website, include your mission and vision, mission and vision statement, I apologize, your contact information, photos, anything that you want your um, viewer, your follower to see. Um, and to recognize your company as, include that on your account. 
Um, again, as I said, think about um, what you want your company to be viewed as digitally. Again, are you just trying to sell a product? Um, are you trying to be a resource? Um, what is your target audience? You got to know who you're trying to um, to get to follow you. Who are you trying to get this information out to? Because um, once you know your target audience, then you can go from there. Uh, so once we had our Facebook page, we decided to do a Facebook like campaign because with any new Facebook accounts, you start out with zero followers. You've got to one. increase that really quickly. Well, I take that back. I guess we had four followers because right. of us. So, right. I guess so. Um, so let me rephrase that. We had four followers starting out, um, but we needed to increase that very rapidly. And in order to do that, we decided to do a Facebook like campaign. So once you have your Facebook account, you can go into your page and then there's a menu on the left hand side. You click on that menu and there are a few options. You can either boost an individual post, you can set an ongoing promotion campaign, which is what I call a Facebook like campaign. You can promote your page or you can drive people to your website. So we chose to set up an ongoing promotion campaign where you can target the people based on age gender, the income bracket, the hobbies, it goes very specific down the line, whether they drive, they're a commuter, or they like to read magazines. Facebook does a good job with they, that. It's they really impressive. do. It's, it's pretty easy, and it's just step by step. You just click the buttons on what you want, um, and then, then that sets your, your target audience for that campaign. Then you set your budget per day, how much you want to spend. I think there was a limit, like $5 per day, right. um, and then you can go as high, obviously, as you want. And then on there, as you click the preferences of what you want, it shows you how much reach you have potential each day. So you can change your, your, um, your topics, basically, based on how much reach you want per, per day. If I remember something on that, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, is that the more specific you get, I think your budget has to be higher. Is that right? It, it, find that out it was because we were starting to get really specific and then it wouldn't let us do because right. we really started out at, at a minimal budget right, at first yeah, just to see. Five dollars, it was real cheap. Yeah, yeah. so it was, um, but yes, as specific as you get, the more money you need to put into it. Um, but it, again, it's a step-by-step -step process. It's very user-friendly. Um, I will say our goal um, for the campaign was to increase our followers. It wasn't right. necessarily to drive people to our website or to purchase our product. At first, we really just wanted to increase our, our followers um, quickly. Our current following is at a little over 2,100, which within six months, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, pretty, that's impressive. pretty impressive for that. She did a good job. Um, yeah. And really, most of that was based from the campaign. I would say most right. recently, they've been organic, but yeah. most of that was, was the campaign. So once a month, we sit down and we map out what we want posted on Facebook. As I had mentioned, one of our goals of social media is to be a resource um, for busy parents. We are juggling work, we're juggling field trips, we're juggling yeah. parenting. Um, as any parents know, it's a lot. So you you want to sit down and map that out to see what you want. But when determining what we wanted to post on social media, we just try to look back at our um, our process. When Barrett was a baby, we would have loved to figure out how to put babies to sleep because he was not sleeping at all. Yeah. <laughs> not on a very good schedule. No, not on a very good schedule. So just recently I posted something about sleeping and an article I read. So we just really tried to um, organize that and how we can be efficient in that manner. Sure. So I literally will sit down and I'll review articles. I'll review other people's social media. We're following mm -hmm. parent.com or parent magazine, those type of things. And I'll either follow it or like it and share it on our page or we'll create our own little tips and tricks on some stuff. So, so please comment below on what you're interested in and um, what may be helpful to you. I'd love to, to broaden our topics if, if it's beneficial to, to you guys. Next, we created an Instagram account. Um, we use this channel for more fun pictures of our products or, or our family outings or whatever we're doing. I'm a newbie. Um, I do not know Instagram as well as what I do at Facebook, so I am learning more on that, so I can't really get much information on that. Um, I'm not as young as what I used to be, so <laughs> I have a lot to learn in the social media world with, when it comes to Instagram. You might ask, how can we keep up with both of our social media profiles? Well, there are several um, social media management account platforms. We use Hootsuite. So it's hootsuite.com, which um, Adam will post when we post this video on our comment section yeah. to help you out as well. It helps you manage the, both of our social media 
um, platforms. So we just use the free um, service account at this time, but you can upgrade. That starts up to $19 a month and goes as high as $500 a month. Our free account allows us to have up to three social media profiles and schedules 30 posts a month. The next level is $19 a month and it allows you to have 10 social media platforms and unlimited scheduling. The $99 a month is 20 social media profiles and unlimited schedules. And the highest $499 a month, excuse me, it gives you 50 social media profiles and unlimited schedule posts. And when I say the unlimited schedule post, that means like I sit down one afternoon um, and I just try to schedule, I map out the month. So like from May 1st to June 1st, I try to schedule all those social media posts. That way it kind of runs itself. So that's when I say scheduled posts. That's what right. we're talking about. <coughs> Hootsuite also helps with our analytics. So you can run reports on how many, um, what were the percentages of increase of likes or followers we had per post or, or what posts had the most reach. So you can pull those and help you um, to determine and tailor your messaging for the next month as well. And again, with each of those um, cost breakdown, the analytics obviously is better. But exactly. the, again, the basic one is all we need right now. I highly recommend using this service. Again, there are several social media management platforms that you can use, but um, Hootsuite's just been very user-friendly for us. And one of the great things about uh, having your digital footprint, especially the uh, analytics side, is you can really see, well, we, we pay attention to it a whole lot. <laughs> on certain posts, you see jumps in terms of, of clicks for your website or on your uh, your physical yeah. product, whatever that is. So you kind of can see what, what people are looking for, what information they like hearing, uh, as well as if, if you'll put stuff in the comments section, questions or anything, things you want um, Bria to, uh, to post on, uh, she'll be happy to do that. And so you're kind of starting to use all these information and to really start to grow the business and go in and take, I kind of use the, the analogy of peel back the layers of the onion, is that you want to keep working deeper and deeper. And so all these are resources for doing that uh, and to really building your business. Because obviously it ought to be a, a consumer-based business. It's not really what you want, what you feel is important, but it's what your consumers need, uh, what they're striving for, what makes their life easier and better. Just like, you know, we look at it from us to a certain degree in terms of what would have made our lives better than what we are at the starting point. But you're constantly looking to improve and put out good content. And so those analytics, that research is vital for that because times are constantly changing. What goes on today uh, won't be that same way tomorrow. Social media keeps up at a fast pace and it really feeds the information in those short little bursts which is important. None of us sit down and, and typically read uh, the entire newspaper front to back anymore. It just doesn't happen. You pull out your Facebook, your social media, you get your news uh, off of that. So really, really important. And, and for us, that's the resource that we want to be. And so that was kind of the purpose of this video. We wanted to show you social media. That's so critical, but also the legal side for the LLC. We'll go into some of the trademark stuff and uh, continue to walk you through, obviously, the, uh, the tax ID and getting all that stuff set up because those are our traps. If you don't do correct, uh, they can cause you problems in the long run. And so please take a moment to subscribe. We're going to keep pulling those layers back, going deeper and deeper and deeper, getting some of the good stuff. Uh, but we really want to set this foundation. So if you've got questions, comments, please put those below. Like I said, hit the subscribe button and uh, hopefully catch all the rest of our videos as we continue to move along. So glad to be back. Sorry we took that a couple week break there. Uh, to get away. We're on vacation the whole time, but uh, <laughs> getting back, kind of getting back in the swing of things uh, with that. So appreciate you and uh, thanks for watching.